Welcome to the Lantern Preview Show for week three of Ohio State's football season. I'm your host, Megan Hustline, joined alongside Nick Malika. Nick, what are you most looking forward to for this week against Western Kentucky? You know, I'm looking forward to Ohio State only playing with one quarterback, so it eliminates a lot of question there. There's going to be no swapping back and forth. It's just going to be Kyle McCord. Yeah, finally, the long-awaited quarterback battle is over. At least for now, Kyle McCord has been named the starter. So he will finally get his first full game of just him playing. So that's definitely the number one thing that, you know, we should watch for this week in terms of the Ohio State offense. He can just kind of take a deep breath knowing that this is his job now. This is fully his team. And now he can just find his rhythm. And, you know, we'll see what kind of impact that has on him and the offense. As for the defense, this will be kind of their first challenge for, you know, facing a team that focuses more on a passing game. The first two games have been primarily rushing teams, you know, Indiana threw in the triple option. So the D-line hasn't been too tested um, in terms of the pass game. But, you know, this week I would look forward to Jack Sawyer, JT Tuimolowell, maybe getting their first sacks of the season. You know, just what can we expect from this Western Kentucky offense? You know, nothing like Indiana with that triple option, you know. <laughs> but expect Western Kentucky to be passing them more. Austin Reed threw for 600 yards in, this opening, in these opening games, and uh, Easton Messer in the last game had 116 yards receiving, so they're going to be passing the ball a lot in this game against Ohio State. Yeah, certainly a huge passing game from Western Kentucky this week. But just one more note um, for Ohio State's running game. Travion Henderson is just 78 yards away from reaching 2,000 yards, so that's the other thing you want to watch for on offense. But overall, it should be a really solid game between these two teams, two high-powered offenses, so I'm looking forward to it. Just follow along with the Lantern for coverage before the game, during the game, and after.